Chris Bosch, if I had written a letter to uh, that uh, National Honor Society student at, uh, mm-hmm. let me get this right, Lincoln High School in Dallas, saying you're going to be a Hall yes, of Famer sir. one day, if I'd written that note and passed it to you in class or something like that, what would what would young Chris Bosch have said if that note said you're going to be a you're going to be in the Basketball Hall of Fame um, <laughs> as an 11 time All Star, two time NBA champion, Olympic gold medalist? What would that what would you have done with that letter? Chris. I probably, okay, I would have kept it. I couldn't say that I would have framed it, but I would have kept it, and I probably would have went right back, right to the gym, because if someone believes in me, you know, whether they're prophesying something or not, if I need, if I'm going to, if I know this is my future, um, and I wanted to make it come true, I need to get better, and I know for sure that I will be right back there in the gym, getting more shots up, trying to figure more about the game. And then, you know, obviously go about your business in the classroom as well because you never know when it's going to get taken away from you. And I know that's part of your book too, right? As you learn oh, yeah, in a absolutely. doctor's office Always. that it's all over as well. Oh, yeah. Have, have those other interests. No other things that you like. Just don't be, you know, one-dimensional that, you know, you don't have any. Have that thing you go after, but, um, you know, there's greatness in hobbies. And, and you know, it's good to have other interests because, you might have to use them in more ways than you know. So are you going to have Riley, when you're up there, uh, roll just champions at rings out during your speech or something like that? Chris, <laughs> let's get some flair to your speech here. What yeah, you that'll, what be, you yeah that'll be some nice flair right there. <laughs> Do you, are you starting to work on it? Are you starting that already? Oh, or? yeah. I'm okay. in the lab. Yeah, we're, um, I have, uh, I have um, some guys I write speeches with. and Yeah, we're uh, – we're, 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 we've got a like a stack full of papers, man, and we're going through. We're listening to speeches. We're um, we're we're very excited about it. We're 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 gonna make it happen. How about this, Chris? Because I always like leaving my guests in a better spot, in which I found them, despite how terrific they are, in a spot like you. How about you tell the story you told me earlier about Pat recruiting you, telling you to pick out a ring from 2006 and swap it out, and you never gave it back. How about you give it back to him during your speech? How about that? Oh, that'll be a good one. Huh? Hey, there you go, man. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Take it out of your pocket and say, here it is, Pat. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I like that, man. I how, like that. How about that? And just You don't have to take no credit. Just take it, Chris. There's an Iron Rich and Eisen, but I'm a team player. Don't worry. Hey, and then, man, right on. Hey, I appreciate that pass, man. I might use that. That's a good one. <laughs> Give it back to him during your speech saying, thanks, thanks for the ring, Pat. Appreciate it. And the other ones, Happy. too. There you go. Happy. Okay. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.